There is much work being done on one of the most common forms of childhood cancers, brain tumors. We spoke with Dr. Bill Loudon, a pediatric neurosurgeon at Children's Hospital of Orange County. Brain tumors are the most common solid organ tumor of childhood. They're now the most common cause of childhood death from cancer. The symptoms are initially very mild, they're, and they're subtle in a child because children don't really obsess about discomfort the way that adults do. But discomfort with a head, headaches if they're speaking, uh, decrease in their feeding, so some general intolerance to feeding, some vomiting, irritability, and somewhere down the road, more profound symptoms like difficulty walking, difficulty seeing. A child in the emergency room ultimately ends up getting a CAT scan or an MRI. And almost unequivocally, you then end up with a diagnosis of a mass in the brain, at which point I'm usually called. The treatment for brain tumors in children has, until recently, remained pretty much unchanged over the course of the last 50 or 60 years, as it has in adults as well. The mainstay of treatment for brain tumors remains surgery, followed, depending on the age and the type of tumor, by adjuvant modalities such as radiation and chemotherapy. There are also experimental offshoots looking at abilities to boost the patient's immune system, immunotherapy, and some new genetically targeted therapies as well. These are very experimental at this time. The success rate in brain tumors has improved significantly over the course of the neurosurgical history, but the outcomes really depend still on the type of tumor. We've made great progress in some of the more common solid tumors of childhood, things such as the medulloblastomas, where we used to see horrible survival rates. Now survival rates are sometimes as good as 80 to 90 percent. In contrast to that, some of the more malignant primary tumors of the brain, such as gliomas, still carry virtually no survival. So it really comes down to the individual's particular variety of cancer. The most exciting new avenues of treatment that we're looking at right now have to deal with the varieties of tumors that there currently are no meaningful treatments for. Using computer-assisted technology for accuracy, we can place small catheters, small tubes, directly into the region of interest. And then, under a positive pressure delivery system, pump an agent into the area of the tumor and even through it and beyond to the periphery. We are now one of the three centers in the country that are open to begin phase one trials for delivery of these agents into children with essentially untreatable brain tumors. I think the, the real great successes that we have are the ones in which we see the child coming back at two years and three years since we operated on them. And at this time frame now, we're now able to finally take a breath with the family and say, you know what, I think we've done it. I think we finally made it. I think everybody can relax. And to see the family, the mom and dad, break out in tears and the child, who by now is very educated into the ways of medicine, just audibly take a breath, a sigh of relief, and everybody feel like they've finally come out of this long, dark tunnel. It's, that's kind of the reward. When you tell them, I'll see you back in a year, and they said, a year? You're kidding. No, you know, you're okay.